it's another great morning actually it's kind of afternoon now <laughs> had a slow start today but it's another great day in the life of kirk and uh thankfully out of all my complaining in my recent videos my plate frame has finally arrived looks pretty good uh one thing i realized though you can't ask too much for a 20 dollar <laughs> ebay plate frame so it said it was carbon fiber and you know what i believe it i believe this part right here is carbon fiber but it's like a carbon fiber overlay and then the rest of the plate frame is made out of like it's all i think it's 3d printed plastic yeah it looks like carbon fiber at least when you look at it straight but it's really just this front piece, I think is actually carbon fiber, which is kind of fine, I guess, because it still looks good. And it's actually really durable because it's really thick, like ABS plastic. But uh, yeah, 20 bucks, I guess I can't complain. It's not a Ferrari, it's a Mustang, it works. Yeah, let's we'll see how a cold start sounds on the two, three EcoBoost. Ain't no V8, but it don't sound too bad. All right, come on, AC, AC, AC. Whoo, it's high up in here. Woo! I tell you what though, this freaking, like the blower fans for the HVAC systems on this is ridiculous. It, I don't think I've been in a vehicle where the fan blows this strong it is nuts which is kind of good because nothing else in this cools you off like you know no ventilated seats or anything so it's nice what's nice is this vent here i have an aim just right when you have the fan speed all the way up it pushes enough air where it bounces off steering column here and then it goes right down into the uh, promised land and gives me some a little bit of air conditioning down there so that's kind of nice yeah let me put the gopro up on the window here and we can continue our conversation so i just want to talk about a few things today as usual so cruising oc week that just passed my previous videos you may have saw if not uh check the cards here and here for those videos it was great. I had a great time. That was the first time I've ever uh, did cruising OC week. Well, I mean, it was a day for me, but just the event in general in my own car. And it was nice. It was fun. I had a great time. It was just, it's an experience just cruising up and down uh, coastal highway there in Ocean City with all the other cars. I had a lot of interesting reactions. A lot of people uh, react to this car differently. Um, you know, I actually had a car show follow the, the, the next day. You talk about being tired. Holy moly, I was very, very tired after uh, Sunday there. But uh, at that car show, I had like, uh, I don't know, probably five or six people come up and talk to me about this car. It's, it's crazy. People are very interested in this car because they're like, they walk up to it because they think it's a California special because of the grill but then they look at it and they're like it this is an eco boost and I'm like yeah but then they realize there's something different about it and they're like this is just a regular eco boost I'm like no it's not it's the high performance they're like oh this is the high performance eco boost I'm like yes it is so it's it's a bit different from your normal eco boost honestly this is what the eco boost should be like anyway but we're not go there let's not go there you know, I'm still shocked at the attention this car gets. I mean, you know, I get it. It's a Mustang, you know, it looks good. It's an attractive car, even though it really, it's not like a Shelby or anything, but it definitely has a certain presence about it that a lot of other Mustangs don't have and just other cars in general. So, you know, it, it does seem, it does catch the eye, right? It's just the Mustang. But I think what makes it special is kind of like what attracts me to it and what attracts me to a lot of other different cars is that it's different it's like an oddball and i love my oddball cars trust me uh they're my favorite cars the more different that car is to me the better because i think that's what makes it really unique that's what makes it special you know it's like yeah shelby gt350 it's special 
but in the grand scheme of Mustangs, it isn't super unique, except the fact that it does have the Voodoo engine, and that's the only thing that really has, makes it stand out from the rest. Um, and I think that's also kind of what gives this car its mojo, is the fact that, yeah, it's a 2.3, but it's not a, it's not your normal two three. This this is kind of a slightly different package, you know, than your normal Mustang or, or whatever. So yeah, I'm still just really surprised about the uh, the attention this car gets and the enthusiasm people have about this car. So with that said, you know, just just to summarize, there, yeah, it was a great weekend. I had fun making the videos. I had fun being there cruising around. But here comes another part of this that I want to talk about. I hardly got any views on these videos. You know, and I searched, uh, I searched YouTube for other people who may have filmed. Now, I know I wasn't the only one there doing video. There was a lot of people there doing video. So, you know, I searched YouTube to see video and I see these very badly, you know, done videos that are just getting like hundreds and hundreds of views on channels with like 200 subscribers. So it has me wondering, okay, are they doing something right that I'm not? Uh, do they just have a lot of support in general from their 200 and some subscribers? Or are they paying for views? So it really has me question if I'm doing the right things with YouTube. I swear, you know, I put a, I'm putting a lot more work and effort into my videos in terms of the, the quality of the edits and stuff. You know, I've learned a lot of different tricks and stuff in terms of editing the videos. And, you know, because I'm pretty serious about this. You know, it's it's I have fun doing it. I enjoy it. So I definitely want to make content that stands out and not just boring, plain old, here's a car, have fun like subscribe nonsense you know I want you to actually like my video not because I tell you to because you do it's, it's kind of upsetting because I really don't understand uh, why my older videos are doing so much better than my newer videos and obviously the quality of said video or the older videos were not nearly <laughs> the same as the ones I have uh, recently but they are getting, like, all my views that I get for, you know, per period that YouTube measures, that all, it's basically all my older videos, you know, I'll get, like, probably 10 total per 48-hour period view count on, like, my recent, by recent, I mean the last, let's say the last five videos. They'll show up in that list, but that's it. Like, the other hundreds and hundreds of views are from my old videos you know which is kind of good because I have a lot you know there's a lot of people watching videos with Cobra which you know once I get myself out of this this uh, really bad financial spot I'm gonna start doing more sort of stuff to the Cobra more stuff to the Fox body that yeah I mean it's just crazy that those videos are just doing decent you know, they're getting a decent amount of views for every 48 hour period and my new videos that I'm putting a lot of, at least I feel a lot of work into are, are just bombing, man. They're hardly getting any video or views at all. And, they're, and according to YouTube, they are well, like view wise, they are much less than average for my videos. However, with that said, my watch time is going up. So that tells me two things first thing is yeah I have a problem with I have a problem with uh, traffic to my channel for some reason and or some of these new videos however the people who are watching said new videos seem to be watching them more uh, you know all the way through or watching them more than my old videos like I said I'm getting a lot more uh, my watch time has gone up. I'm not really sure why my views on these new videos are bombing. You know, some of the videos have been a little goofy, not stuff I normally do, but I thought maybe because of that, it would attract a certain set of uh, viewers, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, I guess I'm no, uh, 
I'm no whistling diesel or anything. I can't pull that off. I, I can't be like Cletus McFarlane or whatever and do them dumb, stupid things and get thousands and thousands of views. Well, then again, no one knows who the hell I am, too, so there's that. Uh, <laughs> but nevertheless, I'll just keep trying. Just keep making videos. Something's got to catch on. Something. I know, you know, obviously my content as of recently has not been very interesting. I've been doing everything I can to make something good. Um, you know, just right now, I have like a million and other things to worry about. And I don't really have a lot of time to invest into YouTube at this moment in time, which sucks. But there's not much I can do about it. It's just kind of how it is at the moment. And I'm doing what I can because I so love doing it. You know, it's just, it's hard, man. It is a hustle, let me tell you. But speaking of the Fox body, I do have to move that today because uh, the garage needs to be accessed. There is some renovations going on in my home and that has to move. At least in this video, I'll see if the car still runs. <laughs> it's been a little bit, it should though. Uh, battery permitting. Freaking car says 83 degrees. There is no way it's 83 degrees. Unless it's like 100% humidity. It is nasty out here today. Absolutely nasty. This ain't no weather for an eco boost, that's for sure. Ooh, man. This ain't no boost weather. Car is still peppy though. It's just it's not enough. I'm just doing a couple errands here while I'm um, doing this video. It's kind of like a, like I said, I had to multitask and I have to kind of just fit this into my schedule as it is. But uh, once I get home, I gotta see if I can get the, the Fox body running. That car I just need to do more with, but there is a big reason why I haven't been doing anything with that car. And once I get home, I'll go over those reasons uh, and explain why I haven't been making any content with the Fox body and why I can't uh, do anything until I find parts, which costs money, which I don't have. <laughs> All right, so I am back home and here's the car in question. Massive layer of pollen in there. I don't even think you can see that. It just ends up looking like every other fox body. Just sitting in pieces. Oh, where's the... There we go. Yeah, I think it needs to charge up a little bit. Or a lot of it. Eh, says it ain't too bad. 12-2. Ah, good little pick-me-up. I'll let that charge up for just uh, a little bit here and... See if it will start afterwards. All right, so I'll just let the car charge up for a little bit here. I still don't know if it's gonna start, but I guess there's only one way to find out. So it ain't gonna start. I am thoroughly surprised it started that quick. <laughs> oh my god, look how dirty it is. Oh, alright. Now, let's put the top down. Alright, so I don't know why that's not working. Uh, I know a combination of these wires puts the top down. Why? Because, uh... The switch stopped working, so that was the only way I was able to do it. <laughs> That's why the whole dash is tore apart. 
there's gonna be some changes made but I need parts so I guess I just gotta rock this drive here with the windows or with the top up but I gotta hurry up because I don't have I'm working on limited time so and there's a reason for that Kirk I thought you said the car don't run oh it runs I just can't run it for long there's a big issue with that everything still seems like it's working all right like cars moving at least I can't drive this car too far is because I don't have a radiator fan somehow the radiator fan broke and I don't know why I don't know how it did but it did so therefore I don't have any cooling or I don't have the extra cooling of a fan so if I'm if the car is just sitting obviously it's gonna start overheating and that's bad so I haven't been able to do any more tuning. This is the same tune that the car has had since I got it running and it's, it works, but I can't do any more tuning until I can get, you know, the temperature and everything under control. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it runs, it runs. I mean, you know, I think cause the tune's not dialed in the way I need it, it doesn't run great. Like. I think it even has less power than it did before, but uh, it still works and and it still has its ability to drive and move. I just can't go far, obviously, because the car is going to start overheating. That's bad. No one wants that. I don't want that. And the thing is, once this car starts overheating, it uh, it doesn't run good at all. Actually, it's it's really hard to keep it running once it gets above 200 degrees. <laughs> Pedal to the floor, let's go! Breaking up a little bit. Getting the cobwebs cleaned out of it. abundance of Fox body parts there I'm hoping I can find a decent aluminum radiator for this and a fan and um, a uh, fan controller which would be nice because uh, I noticed ever since I switched to the micro squirt it doesn't control the fan the way it needs to and I think it can I just don't have it hooked up that way and that just um, honestly seems like a pain to me to do I'd rather just put like a temperature probe in the radiator and run it on a relay like that it's starting to break up it must be getting hot <laughs> definitely I can tell it's getting warm it's breaking up really bad but it's gonna be a fun car once get it moving and get things going with it and get the turbo put on it and all that there we go <laughs> oh my god all right buddy you did good <laughs> oh man yeah so here's the fox body <laughs> and it's dirty wow Actually, this feels good to drive this car. It just has so much character to it. I just wish it was driving better. So once it starts getting hot, man, it's just game over. But yeah, three generations of Mustangs sitting right here. Yeah, that's my babies. But that is going to be it for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know. And if you want to see more content like this, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Keep a lookout for the next video. FOMO Cobro and his Mustangs, his money pits, especially this one.